so uh, you guys, where are you gonna go? You're you're fueled up, and you can go. Night City. To Night City. Night right. City. You're gonna let the reporter take herself there and meet up with you when she gets there. Uh, or are you and, her unless she wants to roll with us. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's that would be seven people in a four seater. Oh. So yeah, how about the uh, you can you can cram five seater five people in there, there, but uh, you're not gonna cram the extra two. So they'll get there themselves. Okay. Where did the doctor go? She's still. She's staying with us. So we're about to cram into a four seater and we got five people? Yep, she's gonna sit on my lap. <laughs> You're gonna be driving. You better You're gonna be in the co pilot seat with her on your lap? Yeah. She's small, she'll fit between you guys. The, the wall is the big guy and he's in the pilot seat, so. Don't you feel the vibe? <laughs> See what I did there? She's gone. With the window open. Coming down off my high. <laughs> All right, now the, the problem you have, uh, we can you can definitely do that. We'll just uh, there won't be any difficulties flying there, other than you guys bickering back and forth about how to do it, right? Night City. But, uh, when you get to Night City and you land somewhere in a oh. in sort of in a another airstrip somewhere that you can see isn't too busy, because you guys know the area out there, so you can figure out where you're at. But uh, the problem you have now that you're here is that everyone who knew who your contact was has been killed. So we can't get in touch with Other anybody. Other than the only person who's left who knows anything about what you're supposed to do is Dr. Young himself. Who, while he is uh, <coughs> Dang it. definitely under guard and people are watching him you know, nonstop and whatnot, you know, he does work on a computer. Boom. You're up. Time for me to uh, see if you can locate, locate uh, his um, what VPN, his uh, IP address. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm shooting from the head over here. All right. So I'm just trying to locate the what's his name? What's that? <laughs> Doctor Young. Doctor Young. Doctor Young. Do IP. Interface for a Yeah, basically, you're basically going to be scanning to see because uh, he's going to be in some biotechnica system somewhere. Okay. Interface. All right, you can go ahead and roll that. I got a four. Four. All right, that's not going to do it. In fact, uh, the system that you're trying to connect to, you're looking at it, and uh, it's pretty high level stuff here. You've got some, like, all the, the major corporate. Uh, you know, security system is in place here. So, but for once, Adriana is going to actually speak up and have some input on this mission. Uh, she's like, well, you know, it, it's possible that I can be of assistance here. You know, I'm, part of my brain is a uh, Biotechnica AI. I'm sure I have uh, a lot better chance of getting past their computer systems than you do. Oh, well, so if you want, if you want to team up, you can try to interface with me and we can go in that way. I, she just kind of li lifts her hair up a little bit, I mean, and there's interface I, jacks. I mean, She's yeah. your three-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just another interface rule, or is that a... Uh, yeah, interface with her. Tech. Ten. Ten. It's enough to connect because she is willingly uh, offering oh. you the port there. So you're now combined with her... Uh, intellect, mentality, and skills as you try to make it through their AI. So you get a plus 14 to every roll. Oh, jeez. Which should tell you how much fun the rolls are going to be. <laughs> get a what? All right, let's see. Now we get to do the, the full and net hack thing. Let's see if we can get you through here. So you're going to be hacking your way through her brain into his terminal if she knows where it's at. So basically, it's your your first full-on uh, hack thing. So we're going to have to go through a bunch of steps, and you're going to have, if you go to your combat tab, uh, if you're up against a program, you can run one of your programs to try to knock it down. Right. Uh, otherwise, you're just rolling dice. Band hammer, so, sword? Yeah. So what you got? All right. And another sword. <clears throat> so the first thing you get when you pop in there is she gives you the map. So you see the assorted control nodes, security things, passwords that you have to bypass. You have to get through a control node, a security thing, and two passwords first off. So uh, go ahead and roll an interface roll. All right. And it's pl actually, it's plus 14, and the difficulty is 14. You're going to succeed. 
<clears throat> so you're, you're into the control system. 20. And you, there you go, 20 is good. You now have the, the full map, so you can see where all the dangerous situations are going to be. And in fact, you're facing one right now. <clears throat> the next thing that's, that's right in front of you is a Hellhound program that's trying to attack. So go ahead and see if you can attack it first. Roll one of your programs. Band hammer, eight. Eight, all right. And I got, well, right, I got ten. So you guys, those two are fighting it out. I think that's Let's see. Band hammer, I think it's shield. No, anti program attacker. I'm the attacker. Is yeah, your ben, ben Hammer does 3d6 damage to a non, or 2d6 to that. So it is damage on him, and he does damage on you. So a little bit back and forth. So let's see. He, the, my guy took... I got to flip, flip through a lot of tabs back and forth here to look at both of these things. There we go. All right, he took 10, so he's uh, about halfway there. And your Ben Hammer would have taken 6 damage. <clears throat> so it probably has ten. Okay. All right. So you're gonna you're gonna be paused there because we're at the end of your your net actions for the moment. So what are you got the other guys up to at the moment? Oh, guys, I'm going through it. Uh, I'm just keeping watch around the plane, making sure no one okay. approaches it. Where do we land exactly yeah. in Night City? This is this is mostly his thing. Where did you land exactly in Night City? Uh, while you were piloting. Give me a second. Where were we supposed to land? Uh, I landed in the University District. Over here? I overshot it, yeah. I overshot our landing zone by five clicks. <laughs> where, where were we supposed to land? Like New Webster? Well, we need to find the guy, and he's probably like in the old corpse center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you probably landed towards the edge there where, where there was more space for it. Yeah. You might have had a place to actually land a, an aircraft. Yeah. And uh, and so, yeah, the corporate center. So you're pretty close. I mean, the whole yeah. city is not that big, right? I overshot it, but now I'm I'm sleeping it off. I'm uh, in the front seat. I'm just guarding the plane. Okay, now that works. And, right. and, uh, and I'm keeping, are you studying your piloting 04? Well, uh, <laughs> like, I'm, also, I'm doing that. Manual. I'm also keeping an eye on the <coughs> while uh, Keenan is doing his interface and she's kind of like jacking in yeah All I right. guess checking her vitals without having any medical or slash robotic skills or cloning <laughs> <laughs> know-how I'm just using my perception and my male intuition and I'm like just hoping I to see that nothing you're... goes wrong yeah Okay, cool. Well, we're gonna be sticking with K for a while here. So go ahead and roll that again with your uh, with your band hammer. See if you can take that hellhound out. Is it the band hammer does not add another plus fourteen, right? That's just that's just yeah. Your oh yeah, you're plus fourteen on those two. Oh, every roll. Which one's stronger, your band hammer or your sword? Fourteen plus fourteen, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. That get, that gets you. So it's your damage. You said what? Oh, it's uh, 2d6 damage, yeah. So, okay, yeah, you broke through the Hellhound. And let's see, now you're facing a password bank, which is, you know, again, boom, boom. You're going to crank through the next two because they're easier than your skill level is at. So the next difficult thing you have halfway down is another uh, Black Ice program. So go into combat there again. We use a sword He's coming at this you. time, perpendicular to the square. 27. 27, wow, all right, you can just knock that sucker right out. That's why we got crash, it. <laughs> crash through the dragon. All right, so now what you just found are two files that uh, they are access files. So you're starting to piece together the information as far as where this guy is at. So you're routing your way there, and there's another black ice in your way. Uh, this one, oh, that's not bad. It's only hitting you for a little bit of damage, but it is trying to actually fry your, your meat brain at the same time here. Yeah. Oh, and you rolled a zero. Your turn. <laughs> All right. Yikes. 14 minus three, because I definitely got negative three. <laughs> uh, that's an 11. That's, that's an 11. That's still an 11. But that beats a zero, so you're good. 
That's 11 that beats the 0, and it beats the 10 he had available for hit points, so you're good there. <laughs> She's doing all the work, man. First of all, <laughs> we are doing all the work. And when she comes She's to... She's doing I'm a, pushing buttons at this point, man. And She's attacking... When it comes to, and she just says, what happened? I'm going to say, I did everything. <laughs> no help. <laughs> All right, the next thing pops up, and uh, it sort of takes you by surprise. This is the Lich. The Lich Ooh. hits you and actually uh, lowers your personal intellect, your in- intelligence, reflexes, and dexterity, which is by one. Dang. Uh, for, the, for the next hour. So you just for the got next done. Hour, you're, you're, you're feeling kind of slow and dumb. Uh, but roll your attack. Let's have a conversation with the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> We're all sleeping. You're talking to him. Uh, fourteen plus fourteen minus one. That's 27. twenty-seven. Twenty-seven versus a twenty-five. All right, you crashed through school. that I as shut well. Up. You shut up. And, <laughs> Don't you worry about the gaddy's map. Opens up. Okay, We're fine. <laughs> The, the system opens Down up. Down these rocks, bitch! It gives you his uh, his direct contact, the connection information, and it brings up what is essentially a Skype window on his workstation, and you guys are connected. Please, to please Dr. be in Little Europe. <laughs> <laughs> and as he sees what's happening there, when <laughs> his screen pops up, oh, yeah, Adriana, I can't believe you're still alive. They, they told us that you've been kidnapped, but I figured they probably killed you too. Once I heard the airship was shot down, I thought it was over. And then the media blackout. What's happening? Where are you guys? Well, are we, are we talking on a secured yeah. line? I assume so. He just went through all that bullshit just to yeah. connect it. We're secure. Uh, I, I tell where we are. Is this, is this really? Dr. Young we're talking to? Yeah. Yes. How about we find out where he is and we go to him? Yes, and, uh, we are most anxious to drop off your daughter. I am most anxious uh, can, to get paid. I bet you are. I'm most anxious to see her. But, uh, you know, we arranged the contact himself, and for security, they didn't even tell me who it is. So I have no idea of helping you. Uh, you know, and, and I'm personally under guard at the moment. I'm, I'm glad that you're still alive. Uh, but blind, uh, Weir had me set up a blind fail safe in case of emergency. So if we, we knew this was going to happen, uh, especially in the last minute here. So pay close attention to this. The key to the identity of the contact is written in the code on the 500th line of the pattern recognition algorithm. <clears throat> okay. Wait, so what we're going to do is... Her, <laughs> I wasn't is, paying attention at all. <laughs> it never Adri- is. Adriana, Adriana has stepped on for you here. And said, okay, she knows what that means. So she, I, I got that. I've got that code. I can order the code to... Uh, <laughs> I, don't know, I can spit the code out for you, Kay, and you can, you can read through it, and we'll find that. It'll be easy. Uh, he's like, okay, all the contact information, everything you need. Assuming you saved your cipher that he gave you back in the beginning, you should have everything you need. Cipher. Uh, good luck, Adriana. I love you. And uh, I've got to go. And, uh, shh, yeah, he clicks off. Oh, well, thank you guys for taking care of her. And uh, he clicks his thing and disappears. Cipher. So she's busy okay. sending code on to K Man's uh, agent device. And basically, it prints out a bunch of stuff and gives you the, the right thing for the line that you need. Wait, there was a code. Wait, we were talking to the doctor, and there was a code that we were supposed to say. We already used that code. We already used that code. Yeah. Did we? <clears throat> mm, no. You, you had the, the password about uh, the little sister. Little you sister was given, looking forward to seeing her family. Yeah. We already use that. We use that? Yeah, we use that already. Well, this is the cipher code that we need right here. That you use, but you did not use the uh, the cipher code you were given in the form of an image. Right, right. We have it. I got the, We got the cipher code here. But how is it? Oh, it's embedded in the 500th line of the pattern recognition program. 500? Yes. The so he's, he, you've got the code, which is, you know, it's got the, got the lines are basically numbered on yeah, your device. So code, you can just go code. straight down and, and you find what it is. And now you've got this other half of... of four, two, two, four, five, six, six, six. <laughs> Hold on. It's, a, it's another cipher clue. Now, I'm looking at it. I think I, I can figure it out. <laughs> That's only one part of it. <laughs> so I'll never figure it You'll out. You'll never figure it out <laughs> okay. based on that. <laughs> Man, That's only does. one part of the suffer. <laughs> I figured out. But go ahead. Accept your limitations. I'm SWAT. I pull yeah. the trigger. Yeah. That's all I do all right. is pull the trigger. All right. All right. I'm not going to decode anything. <laughs> I drive the car. <laughs> I got it.
I was trying to be helpful. <laughs> J and <laughs> no. And you, you drive your car Actually, and yeah. wander the earth Oops. like jewels. <laughs> I'll should follow that, and it should be there now. Yeah, oh, there it is. Boom. You know. This? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm man. <laughs> okay, all right, computer guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you got this, right? <laughs> yeah, man, that's Hurricane at three pack. Um, <laughs> it's nine Y. Nine Y. <laughs> no, not one Y. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just guarding the plane. All right, man. I'm sleeping. 46. Pull, move that window over a little bit and pull up the old code. Yeah, and just look at them side That's by part side. two of the code. First of all, you're asleep, so you just stay there and be yeah, this is This is Big Tom talking, not the wall. <laughs> all right, and I'm just saying, all right, now that we're looking at both here, oh. uh, it's a cipher. <laughs> so... Right. All right, so again, <laughs> my job is to drive the car. Uh, so what do you think about this? So, so um, in cell night. J E N A J J N A forty six. God, net runner is on to something there. Jenna. Jenna Rye. No, that can't be right. Sad. Mm. It's an address. It's an address. Jenna Swale? S. Aha. Jenna Swale. Jenna Swale, Swale, Jenna Swale, Jenna Swale, Swale Jenna. Night City. 589 5511. Hmm. Slightly out of order, but you got the idea. Jenna Swale, Night City, 555 uh, and then it gives you an address as well. Write that down, write that five, down. Five, five, eight, nine, one, one. How do you guys see this? <laughs> you gotta insert the second letters <laughs> into the first letters. Yeah, where the stars are, dude. So it's, so it's like, Fort that's our contact, Jenna Swale. Night City. See the stars? I see Night the stars. City, five, five, Apply five. The stars. <laughs> Eight, nine. Jackson, do you see what they're I doing? see what they're seeing. I think the next line is uh, street number yeah, Carlson. 13, 1346. That's Carlson. South, maybe. Oh, and then T. Sweet. T sweet. Sweet. Two. Sweet. Two. So. Tonight. In Little China is the last time. In Little China. China. In Little China. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, uh, you should have let me get that. I was, was going to get that. <laughs> See? Yeah. So I told you. I knew what I was doing. That's just your, that's your double check. So you got uh, actually much quicker than I figured you'd I figured you'd have to roll and you didn't. So there you go. Well, so you've got uh, the, well, the contact the wall information woke up for and solved it. <laughs> well, and we you know. as a team <laughs> solved it. You guys have never known you got to add that part and that part without me. So. Well, I knew that part. I saw the, oh, night, I saw the oh. night city from the one Y. So well, yeah. As soon as you said one Y, I was like, hold on, one Y and CT, that's city. Yeah. You're welcome. I still don't see it. <laughs> you gotta read this part first and then that I part. feel like, what was that? I think it was an episode of Friends where everybody was looking at the uh, sonogram of the baby and then Rachel was like, I still can't see it. It was her baby. And it was her baby. That's how I feel about the cipher code. <laughs> it's okay. We're past it. I know. We got, we got, we got the information. Genesweil, Night City, 1346, Carlson, Suite 23. And so I got an address that I'm driving to. Bus it. <laughs> Can we find it on the map before we just... First of all, we need to find a vehicle. Unless you want to fly over there. <laughs> and I think flying over there would be a little bit too... Well, how far away is it? Well, it's in little... Uh, Little China. Little China, which is right here. Little oh. China's on the other side. Little Europe is above us. We got to go to the other side of the island. It's first of all, it's a peninsula. It's an island. And no, it's not disconnected right there. It's not a road. That's land. Uh, Technically, here's land, and it's surrounded it's not, by water it's on not three that, sides. It's not that far either way. Can we get there? It's yeah. here. We can walk this distance no, if we want. You can. I don't know what you think you're doing. <laughs> Walking through a 
It's little China. Where's the... So, uh, hey, let me go out, secure trans- uh, a vehicle, and I'll be right back. Call a little bit. Because now I'm, now I'm home. Whatever you want, I can hey. get you. Oh, yeah. We're home. We're home. Okay. I'm going to call somebody from the family uh, to, to uh, drop me off a vehicle. All right, and, and they will do that. Tell them to drop off two, two hours or so. But, uh, there's, there's also, uh, you know, at the airstrip you're on, there's assorted you know, service vehicles and crap around here you could probably jack. It's not going to go uh, high speed or be armored, but if you just need a ride. Okay, let's do that instead. Instead of waiting the two hours, let's just, I'll just uh, hot wire. Are you, are you just going to roll up to her place without calling first? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Right. <laughs> yeah. She gave us a number. Who, Jenna Swale? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. I'll, I'll call her. 555-8911. I'll call Jenna Swale. Did you read the cipher? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Can't you read Man is You right guys here. gave me an address, and I said, all right, I can I'll, take I'll call somewhere. Jenna Swale. Man, we could call her from downstairs. I'm calling her. I'm right. coming up. <laughs> I'm going to call okay. her. Well, this is a violation. Hello? Say hello. This is uh, you don't know who I am. We have the doctor's daughter. We're told to contact oh. you. Do you have a code phrase? Yes. What's the code phrase again? Oh fuck! Uh, hold on, man. I'm ready. Sit down. No, no, no. We're not going to give her. We're, we're going to give her the exact one. Give uh, me a second here. Boom, boom. Little sister is looking forward to seeing her family. Little sister is looking forward to seeing her family. Oh great! It is you. I can't believe you guys made it. I was I wasn't very surprised. They intercepted you a couple of times, and I didn't think you were going to make it all the way here. Well, by the skin so. of our teeth, we're here. What do we do? Give well, congratulations. Money. All the terms of the deal are still good. We've lost a couple of the, the people involved, but I do have an account pre-set up to pay you from. So I, let, let's do this. Let's, let's finish talk about it up the money. Here. How much are we getting? In all here? right. Do we meet you at the uh, address? Oh, when are you arriving in Night City? Shortly. Okay. Uh, well, I don't want to set up another rendezvous that's just going to get broken. Uh, but if you're here, we, we can just do this right now. That, that sounds good. Uh, uh, yeah. You have the address? Yeah. Yes, we have the address. All right. Uh, I will be here. All right. We should see you soon. Okay. Okay, great. Thanks. I told you, we should have just went there in the first place, man. Let's go straight to the trip. Okay, it's like we lost one of our nine lives making the phone call. Hey, 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 take it easy, man. What's with the brow well, beating? Uh, stressed out, man. I had to shoot all those people. I couldn't even tell them In these situations, it's usually, especially if she's looking for code phrases and passwords, it's usually best not to just pull up on somebody like, surprise, here's a car full no, of dudes. You're so. right. You're right. You're right. And Jackson, you're right, too. It, it, it's not important. Like, but I don't care about any of that. <laughs> it's all right. We'll just drop this girl off and I'll feel a lot better. All right. All right. I Jack one of the service vehicles and we're going to make our way from the university district, go all the way, start heading east till we get to Little China. All right. So you're, you're rolling up to where she's at. That's cool. You do, do, do skip all these things that you managed to not have to do. <laughs> and let's catch back up where we are. Here we go. All right, so we're telling Adriana on the way. Pretty soon you're going to be able oh. to see your father. You know, we're really now, close. As you're rolling to that meeting, you're getting a phone call from the reporter, too. She wants to know if she can you know, meet up with you guys so that you can have the cameraman there and, and get the report for the, the final rendezvous here. I say yes. Okay. I'd say, yeah, uh, but uh, your safety's in your own hands. I mean, everywhere we have stopped, we run into an ambush. Oh, yeah, we know the risks. In fact, uh, we might be able to, to be a little bit helpful if the situation gets too sticky, so we'll, we'll meet you down there. Okay. Wait, meet us down where? He gave her the... Well, I he, gave he, her he gives her the address. address. <laughs> hey, this woman's been helping us, man. Hey, help us. In my gear. Walk after. Yeah. <laughs> wall thrust engine powered flying vehicle. The oh, wall counter. <laughs> you didn't know we left it in you, the it's university parked. district. Yes. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Once we turned that thing and got off, we no longer have any act power to access Engage it. Engage stealth mode. <laughs> Put a tarp on it. <laughs> That's stealth mode. <laughs> Put a tarp on it. So nobody goes peeking. <laughs> I need you to give your voice back. <laughs> You know, I'm looking at everyone. I'm doing it. You, uh, the address that you had there was for her house. The address that she gave you for the rendezvous was significantly closer to where you are than where you thought you were going. Okay. Because okay, so you're going to the docks and stuff, so you're going to the marina there. Uh. Oh, I see. Oh, upper marina. Yep. Meeting point is upper marina. Seventeen. The same, same distance as Little China. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Different direction. Meeting point. All right, so we need to make a decision. Are we going to go through the, the old corp center? There's no roads. Okay, so which way around? I was just going to go. Look, it's hot. The old city center, the old bank it's okay, block. Okay, man, we're rolling center. around in a university center truck, man. Ain't nobody looking at us. <laughs> <laughs> Big white van yeah. that says university on it. They yeah. think we're for the school, man. That's not conspicuous. Calm down, man. Yeah. It's all over the city. Don't worry. This, we're not, at home now. Making, I don't want to get into the trouble. There's speed, been a white the, van parked outside my house for like three days. I, I think there's some drugs or something. I don't want to get anybody in trouble, though. <laughs> there's a bunch of homeless guys having sex. <laughs> 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 Dirty Mike and the boys. <laughs> 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 all right all right well as you guys roll up on the rendezvous spot it's uh, you're pulling into the shipyards there's there's docks and you've got all the, the usual stuff you see there along the edge of the marina and uh and you see one there's a dock out there out in the sea a little bit partially flooded over and uh and you see this person that you presume is jenna swale standing out there on that dock Okay, does Aid know Jenna at all? She does not. Okay, what? Yeah, what time, sorry, uh, code word again, would you? What, what, what did you call this person? Aid. Oh, it's cute. You guys have pet names. Yeah, we do. <laughs> she calls her Who's dick. got the... Uh, <laughs> J, JB's got the cyber optics. Roll, roll awareness, JB. What was that? Okay. What was or that perception. Like, all right. Like Batman movies. <laughs> My name's Richard. Everybody calls me Dick. It's like, kids can be cruel. <laughs> Eleven. Not good. Eleven. All right, yeah. You, you can see that uh, something... I have perception also. The water, the water looks like it's exceptionally warm. You kind of see, like, the, the, you know, the heat lines coming out. I see there's something in the water, guys. I roll 21 for perception. It's obviously, I have, the, I have the optics. Oh, really there's wrong. guys in the water. Yeah. Just so you know, 20, twenty-one on a regular perception also notices there's something. Uh, you can't see the heat lines coming off, but you can see that there's some some disturbance in the water. It doesn't look right. All right, two uh, guns, boom. The disturbance uh, force. Pull out the assault rifle two guns in my hands. I pull out Fully two loaded. swords. They also in your brain, man. No, I actually have them. I actually bought them after the mishap. <laughs> Stop right here. <laughs> hey, it's okay. All right. Stop, or I'll say stop again. And I said, yeah, so you guys are, are armed and ready to go. All right, so. And the, the Jenna seems pretty amazed that you're even here in the first place, but she does seem friendly. It's amazing to meet you guys after all this time. I still, I'm still impressed that you made it all the way here on your own. I right, said, so let's uh, speed this up. There's something in the water. Something in the water? Yes. This is not good. It's a good story for your TV people, at least. This is not uh, good. She's in on it, guys. So she gives you the. Uh, the payment chips. You, you guys have, have got received your payment for this job. You've earned more than whatever you contracted you for. Uh, you know, I've given you everything that was in the account. It, it covered the expenses and it hopefully covers the expenses that you've come up with and the payment that was uh, asked for. I wish I could give you more, but there's really, I don't have any more. Uh, we definitely didn't expect the trip to take this long. Oh, Ooh, thanks. PTSD is a trip, but thanks for your little dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and as she's saying that, the, the place kind of lights up. You know, the, the floodlights come on, and, and a booming voice comes out. Actually, in some ways, we're pleased that it took this long.
Pull yourself together. Come on, let's get in the character.